why the Toyota Tacoma is still better than any other mid-sized truck out there and why we hate them for it. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here. So why is the Toyota Tacoma still the best truck out there? And why do we hate them for it? You know, I was out cruising around in the Jeep Gladiator this morning and I had another warning light, a warning light that my auto stop was malfunctioning. If you watch the other channel, then you know this happens frequently for me for some reason. So anyway, as I'm heading back home and I'm thinking about my two trucks and that nice bright light that's on the gauge cluster in the Gladiator, I got to thinking, you know, the Toyota Tacoma really is better than any other mid-sized truck out there, but we really do hate them for it. What I'm talking about, you know, when I get in the Toyota Tacoma, I don't have to worry about things, you know? I don't have to make sure I look at the gauge cluster to to be confident that nothing's wrong, that there's no light on, that something hasn't malfunctioned, that I don't have a problem that could potentially leave me stranded on the side of the road. You know, I can depend on my Toyota Tacoma. Worry-free, I never have to be concerned about those kind of things. But it's not the same way with my Jeep Gladiator. And don't get me wrong, I do love the Jeep Gladiator. I really do, which is why I've stuck with it so far, right? I think it's a cool truck, but it just doesn't give me that sense or feeling of confidence when I get in it because I do have to look at the gauge cluster every time I get in or listen for that little chime after it fires up to let me know that something is going on, but not with the Toyota Tacoma. You know, I've had, I think, six Toyota Tacomas and never had a problem with any of them. Now, that's not to say there haven't been recalls and things. There have, but there are on any truck, right? I don't think you could name one vehicle across the whole spectrum that hasn't had some recall for something. And Toyota's had its share. You know, we're going through the fuel pump recall right now. There was a master cylinder recall on my 2018. None of those left me stranded, although I do know and I have heard the fuel pump has on a couple of people. But generally, there's, there's not been any issues for me, selfishly, right? But why do I say that we hate them for it? You know, it's kind of a double-edged sword. If you want a reliable truck, then you need to go with a truck that has time-tested technology and parts in it, right? And that's what Toyota is really good at. I think that's how they've kind of carved out their niche, right? They produce trucks that are really more utilitarian anyway. I mean, they're not the flashiest trucks out there. They don't change them frequently. Some may say it feels like they never change them, and that's really kind of true. But there's a reason for that, and I think that's kind of Toyota's business model, right? They're going to build a product with parts that may not be the latest and greatest, technology that's not the flashiest and the newest, but it's been tested over time. You know, people can buy their trucks with confidence, that's where their reputation is, and not have to worry about problems. But the problem is, is we hate them for that too. You know, because a lot of us out there, and I'm guilty of this, we want the most recent, up-to-date, flashiest tech and functions and features that you can get in the truck, right? I mean, I'm guilty, like I said, I want all the latest and greatest stuff. I want to get in there and have that big giant radio screen that has all kinds of buttons and things on it that do different things. I want to be able to connect every device I could ever think of, maybe the kitchen stove even, so I can go ahead and program it and have it start before I get home. You know, I want to have all that stuff in my truck. And it bugs me sometimes that I, when I don't have it, you know, that maybe the brand that I'm driving, in this case Toyota, doesn't share my same philosophy, right? They're not really putting that stuff in there for me, and I want it. But on the flip side, I also want a truck that I don't have to worry about, the Toyota Tacoma. So it's, it's kind of a double-edged sword, really. You kind of have to decide, I think, when you're in the market, what is really important to you. You know, Jeep, 
Fiat Chrysler is really good at coming out with new products. I'll give them that. They're probably, I can't think of anybody else who's better at turning around new products quickly than Jeep is or Fiat Chrysler, right? I mean, they keep coming out with all of these different twists and additions to the Jeep. You know, we've got the 392 Wrangler coming out here soon, a hopped up version, more power, faster. But what kind of problems is it gonna have? You know, because they do put these things together so quickly. They're not tested. We're the test dummies out there when it comes to Fiat Chrysler, right? They put them on the road, they do their recalls, they honor their products, there's no problems with that. You might have to go back three or four or 10 times to have whatever it is fixed. You might spend 30 hours over time sitting in that service waiting area for your truck to be fixed, but they do fix them ultimately. If not, I guess you have the lemon law you can try to fall back on. And it's funny, I'd never known anybody that had utilized that law until I started this channel um, and the Jeep channel because a couple people have reported to me that Jeep has actually replaced um, or honored the lemon law on their trucks. So I guess it's just kind of the philosophy between the two. And like I said, we, we kind of have a love-hate relationship with Toyota because of it. We love that they put out reliable, dependable trucks but we hate that they don't stay up to date and give us all the modern, more recent tech that we want. Who knows? I know Toyota is in the process, or soon will be, of coming out with a redesigned Toyota Tacoma back there. Of course, if you follow the, the truck world, then you know that the Toyota Tundra, the redesigned Toyota Tundra is coming. I'm hearing a 2022 uh, model year for that now. We shall see. But I think it's going to be interesting to see what they put in that Tundra and how reliable it is and maybe the number of recalls they might have. Because you know there are going to be recalls, right? It's a redesigned truck. Not everything is going to be tested to the nth degree. And until that truck gets out there in our hands, they're not going to know for sure. But I think it's a little foreshadowing, if you will, as to what's going to be coming in the next generation. It would be Gen 4 of the Toyota Tacoma. I think we can look at that Tundra that's coming and it's gonna give us an idea of how far Toyota is going with their design and the things that they're going to include in the Toyota Tacoma, at least over time. That's not to say that the redesigned Tacoma is gonna have all the latest and greatest stuff in it. I think it's probably gonna have stuff in it that's probably two to three years old as far as when it first came into the market. I mean, look at the power seat we have in the Tacoma, right? They could have done that, I don't know, 10 years ago, and we just got it with the 2020, so who knows? Anyway, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Is the Toyota Tacoma the best mid-sized truck out there on the market? And do we really hate Toyota for it? I'd be curious to know what you think. Also, real quick, if you're interested, Check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.